BBC faces real challenge over TV licence fee over declining willingness to pay, Minister warns. <laughs> That's a good headline. I like reading a headline that says people don't want to pay the TV licence. Makes me very happy. I don't get out much, you see. The declining willingness of Britons to pay the TV licence is going to become a real challenge for the BBC, Media Minister John Whittingdale warned yesterday. A million households have stopped paying the charge over the past two years. Good. Love that. Wish it was more than a million, but it's a good start, it's a good start. According to the corporation's annual report, the recent health crisis led to a 700,000 decline in licences purchased in the last financial year. Not bad. You know, when you pinch people's money and you put them out of work or you put them on furlough or whatnot, they start looking at what's important to pay for. And the TV licence, I'm sorry, is not important to pay for, is it? Speaking at the Edinburgh TV Festival, Mr Whittingdale said, I think it's inevitable that certain trends which are now already clearly visible will continue. And those are going to put real challenges on all UK public service broadcasters. So I think this debate is about how we sustain public service broadcasting is only just beginning. Yeah, show adverts. Show adverts. It's done. Channel 4 managed it. Why can't the BBC? Viewers who only use streaming services such as Netflix to watch on-demand shows do not need a TV licence. Last year, ministers kicked off negotiations on how much the licence, currently £159, will cost from 2022. Well, it's not going to change. It can only go up. It can't go down. Because that's only a mid-term review for the TV licence charter. And they can't bring it down or scrap it or anything. You've got to wait till 2027 if you want to see real change. And that's what we're all fighting for here. If you're new to this channel, that's what we're all fighting for here. 